please like, comment, and subscribe. If I get something wrong, some factual error, just point it out. Let me know in the comments. I'm not going to block you or rage quit or anything weird like that. I'll just I'll just correct my mistake. Um, this is a... I found this. You search Ignited, and this is like the third result that came up. <laughs> by Chris Sotomayor. Some sick borderline white supremacists, possibly comics gate <laughs> nuts, have faked artwork, artwork from Ignited to use as evidence that they're using the book as a pro-violence propaganda tool. They're idiots and liars. Feel free to re retweet. This is from Mark Wade's Facebook, if I remember right. And this image, uh, this is a parody satire meant to mock uh, for humorous purposes. It's by uh, Just Some Guy, who has a YouTube channel, and he's on tw uh, Twitter at Just Some Guy CC, all one word. Am I a fascist? I mean, I don't feel like a fascist. I just want to use power to control people. If you've read Ignited, they have three issues out, and they're really, really bad. And that's the uh, that's the parody, and then the actual comic is the cancer comic. Some people come in and say, you know, it's satire. It's pretty obvious to anyone who isn't entrenched in your silly culture war. <laughs> uh, Sotomayor is not making a whole lot of sense. You're right. Many idiots think it's satire and are falling for their bullshit. Then Kwanzaa Osajefo, real name Tom Smith, people entrenched, wait, let me get this right, people entrenched in a culture war are any who take the time to make a fake version of a comic. That's a hot take there, Kwanzaa. Now, some of us are here for the yucks. You're all ridiculous. Yeah, they're joking at your stupid comic. Ignited is a stupid comic. Mark Wade is a big fat idiot, and you're a dum-dum. I love how in the fake ones, they've goofed, goofed up the lettering so bad, because if you're a comics gate, I guess you don't actually read comics enough to know that. How did they... How, what? They goofed up the lettering? Because they, um... Uh, what do you call that? When you format, the, it's uh, left justified, and this is center justified. You can justify, I mean, that's how you justify the sentences, or whatever it's called. It doesn't matter if it's formatted on the left side or formatted in the center it's it's fine it's a parody he gets the point he's making a joke that mark wait the characters in ignited are actual fascists they um it's a the teachers are talking about open carry and some people want the teachers to to, to carry firearms and the comic seems to say well the next time a black kid talks back the teacher's going to shoot them because that's what that's what teachers do. They just shoot black children for talking out in class. And so the <laughs> Mark Wade has these characters with superpowers come to the school, and they, um, the students are having a free speech event, you know, constitutionally protected activity under the First Amendment, free assembly, free speech, press, religion, redress of grievance, whatever. So the students are peacefully assembled talking about the issues of having teachers armed to protect them from the school shooters, which admittedly are a pretty rare event. And so these sociopaths that Mark Wade and Kwanzaa seem to think are the heroes, the sociopaths come to school in what looks like an APC and start throwing these what looks like metal, you know, those ninja stars from the 80s that kids that was the rage in the 80s. At these kids who are peacefully assembled, assembled, <laughs> torturing them, causing that, causing severe injuries to kids who are just peacefully talking about a political issue. What Mark Wade and Kwanzaa are saying, are, Mark Wade and Kwanzaa, if they espouse those viewpoints of silencing dissent, that's that's a fascist. That's a totalitarian, totalitarian dictatorship. Mark Wade and Kwanzaa, uh, yes, it's their way or the highway. It's uh, it's you know what the communist socialists always say you know well if we have to if we have to kill a few hundred million people to get a perfect utopia then it's worth it to get a workers paradise as was so sex so successfully shown in the Soviet Union with the gulags and um, in Mao's China and post Mao as well where they uh, they took teachers both in Russia and China they took teachers who you know teachers and they put them on farms. And then they put farmers in the schoolrooms, 
or they'd have the students teach the classes. And so as a consequence, because teachers are pretty, you're pretty useless on a farm, uh, millions of people starve to death. But that's okay because they're, they're weeding out the records, I guess. Uh, Comics Geek has never cared about quality. It's always been about their status for them. Comics Gate is about selling independent comics without a social justice warrior, far-left ideology. And there's some issue about Tim Lim making a Trump comic. It was kind of a humorous take. And Ethan said, oh, well, we don't want a far-right ideology either. And there's a, like a mild disagreement over that. But, you know, hey, uh, Comics Gate is just people free to write their own comics. I just think of Comics Gate as independent comics. I don't think of it as trying to change the industry because I think a lot of us have just given up on the industry and we're just say hey, we're just 100% comics gate now and the few comics that are available that aren't SJW but the thing is there are more and more rare it's gonna you're it's hard to find uh comics that aren't SJW among the mainstream creo que son muy buenos star blades this is by Kyle Ritter who I guess he drew and inked it himself and uh, it looks amazing. I don't know. It's on Indiegogo. I don't know what, what kind of funding he's reached so far, but I think he's already successfully funded. So this is the art from Starblades Volume 1. It looks really good, real solid. He's the artist. He does uh, the coloring for Cyberfrog, I believe. So the black guy in his 20s <laughs> that did that is a borderline white supremacist. And where do you see this being used as evidence? He made it as the thumbnail image for his video about the comic, which he obviously has a poor opinion of and made an obvious joke. Cool off, man. Chris Sotomayor says, ha ha ha, okay. I don't understand. Do you not, do you not believe him? Never let facts get in the way of your narrative. The guy who made it, oh, this is by Yellow Flash. The guy who made it is black and from Chicago. He's also by... Bye, black dude from Chicago. Those pesky white supremacists are pretty diverse these days. And welcome everyone, apparently. Yes, welcome uh, just some guy to the... <laughs> I'm insane, like Mark Wade. I think black dudes are actually white supremacists. Well, according to the left, there are um, Jewish anti-Semites. There are black wh white supremacists. There are Hispanic white supremacists. <laughs> And there are somebody, I think it's one of these comments. I don't know if it's this comment or another guy. It was this guy says, Well, there were black people in the KKK in the 50s and 60s. So I, I'm thinking to myself, Well, you know, if there are black people in a group that you're calling uh, a supreme group, it's not the KKK, it's some other group. I mean, if you're calling the, this group of people, you have a, a mixed group of people. Um, like these people who go to the, they do these free speech events and they're mixed. There's a lot of, there's, um, you know, Africans and Hispanics and, um, it's a mixed crowd, but the left calls this mixed crowd who, uh, one of the crowd's leaders is an Afro Cuban guy. Uh, and they call them white supremacists, but you look at the crowd, the, um, the free speech guys, and they're all, they're all colors of the rainbows they are black, brown, and white and Asians. And they're gay and straight. I mean, there's all colors of the rainbows. Like in Comics Gate, it's, you know, very, very diverse. And you look at the, the, the left wing, the Antifa kids, the far left people, and they're all lily white. And most Antifa kids are middle class or better, above middle class. And they're all just, they look, I mean, if you had to look at two groups and say, hey, hey what, what, what group is going to be problematic here? The left wing, pure white. <laughs> the right wing diverse as hell and you're telling me the right wing is the problem I tell you you're, you're out of your freaking mind we are diverse Kwanzaa also Jeffo isn't creating a fake narrative to push an agenda about your perceived opposition wanting to control people that's what the comic is about you literally shut down a free a peaceful assembly through violence isn't that fascism isn't that your weird, sick, twisted control fantasy? This clownish attempt is exactly the kind of propaganda an actual fascist group would produce. 
No, Kwanzaa, you're the actual. I don't. Is he an artist or a writer? I think he's a co-writer. So I think him and Mark Wade co-wrote this ignited piece of garbage. Which, if you look on uh, Indie Cron, no Comic Cron, not Indie Cron. Indie, Indie Cron is the Comic Skate site that I, Edwin Boyette has a hand in, and it um, it it lists Comic Skate projects. So if you're curious, go to Indie Cron. They will show you the Comic Skate Indiegogo projects, uh, and they'll show you a little some of the art and. Give you a little description of it. It's a very cool site. Comicron shows you comic book sales. So if you look up Ignited on Comicron, I believe the first issue sold nine thousand. Which for Mark Wade and Quanzo Sojefo, those are well known names in the comic book in, in you know twenty twenty current year comic book industry. Quanzo Sojefo has a big name. He should be able to sell books. Mark Wade has a huge name, though it's slightly tarnished because he's a Defendant in federal court for um, defamation and tortious interference for trying to crush a small businessman, a uh, a veteran, a family man who has three diverse kids. Uh, one of them wears a hijab, and Mark Wade calls this guy Richard Meyer a white supremacist because Mark Wade is a fucking idiot. Uh, these people are just. It seems like the difference between the left and the right is when you show someone on the right, or even a moderate, the error of their ways, they can say, oh, wait, you know what, maybe I misspoke. Let me re- let me rethink my position when presented with new evidence. Now, someone on the left, it doesn't seem they're as likely to do that. It seems like they're wedded to their ideology. I heard some speaker was talking about an argument, um, uh, I mean, the logic and rhetoric, how to argue. And one of the argument technique, techniques is to ask somebody, what would it take to convince you of my position? Um, like if you say, I don't know, you're talking about atheism and religion. You say, what would it, if, if I could prove to you that God existed, if God came down to earth and appeared in front of me, would you no longer be an atheist? And most reasonable pe- people would say, yeah, absolutely. I would. If, if you, a supernatural figure appeared before me, yes, I would believe in that supernatural figure. Of course I would believe in it. But someone who is wedded to their ideology will start hemming and hawing and saying, no, there's nothing you could say that would convince me. And then at that point, there's no point in having a further discussion because there's nothing you could say to convince that person of your argument. Anyway, I'll keep this short. Um, check out just some guy on YouTube and, uh, Go to Twitter and please make your own memes of this using this image uh, and uh, tag in Kwanzo Sujefo. You can make the meme and he'll just block you and Mark Wade will just block you, but at least other people get to see it and it's, it's hysterical. And Mark Wade and Kwanzaa. Uh, Kwanzaa's first, first book, Black AF, sold uh, I think 100,000. And you go to his Twitter and you read his, he's just anti, anti. Anyone who's a moderate is a, a Nazi. Anyone who's a conservative is a Nazi. Anyone who voted for Trump or is thinking about voting for Trump is a Nazi. Go to his Twitter, read his Twitter, get an idea of who he is, and then you look at his second book, White, and it's sold, I think, half of what Black did. That's not failing upwards. That's failing downwards. So, anyway, <clears throat> like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you next episode.